back, everyone, to our seventh episode of ECTV Tries, where we undergo a new adventure every week. I'm Jake. I'm Andrea. And I'm Adam. And as always, we've not been told what we're doing, but we have been given a hint. What we were told about this challenge is to trust your gut. So, what do we think this challenge could be? Uh, personally, I don't know. I'm feeling, feeling a little exotic, so I'm hoping we have, like, different varieties of food from different cultures, you know? Maybe like Chipotle, Taco Bell, I don't know. Uh, just, you know, fun fun stuff like that. And we gotta, gotta taste it and see where it's from. I, I, I have noticed a theme that uh, there's been a lot of food episodes recently, so we could be doing that. That makes me think it's not gonna be a food episode this time. I think it's gonna be like this or that, and we have to very quickly decide. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think, think we got some good guesses in there. Find out what is happening tonight. You will each be given the same word, but only one of you has the definition of the word. Try and figure out who is saying the correct definition of the word. Don't forget the of the word. Of the word. And no, I I read around the typos. Oh. Because that's just the kind of question I am. Were there typos? Wow. Just I kidding. wouldn't have noticed. Just kidding. Mm. Okay, how are we feeling tonight? We think that's a good challenge? Yeah. I feel like it's interesting. All right. Well, we'll be right back. We're just going to set up for our task. That's you. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> you're three, so. Yeah, I think ideally. we should. I think we should. I was so like, you're three, I'm two, you're one. Yep. Okay, yeah. I was like, what are we waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Each of us have the same five words. But for each word, only one of us has the definition of the word. The rest of us has to make it up the definition. During each round, we have to guess who has the correct definition. So let's get into it. All right, so I guess... Let's so let's flip over the first one. Yep, 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 yep. Hi, who wants to go first? So, the word is ratoon, mm -hmm. which is actually what you call a a baby raccoon. Okay, actually, <laughs> it's something, it's like one of those inflatable things and you float down the river, but it's always orange. It's never another color, it's always I, orange so that if, if you're drowning, people will be able to see you because it's an orange inflatable. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, so not a life vest. No, no, it's not a life vest, it's a thing that you sit in, like a tube. Why that would it be called a ratoon? Because they're always orange. It's like the safe Orange thing. isn't even in the word. It's in the definition that I'm reading. <laughs> Are you sure? You read the uh, words. Okay, so uh, a ratoon um, is a small, like, little stem thingy um, that comes from the root of a plant. <laughs> yeah. Um, All well, right. that would be correct. That would, that's the definition of the word. I think Jake has it. I also think Jake has it. I thought my high school acting chops would do a lot better, but yeah, you guys Should we get right? You're right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Bam! Okay. Make something up. All right, number two. Bibble. Oh, man, do you want me to go first this time? Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Uh, so, Bibble um, is actually a character from the hit movie series, Barbie. Uh, I believe it was in uh, Barbie the Fairy Princess, <laughs> I think. Which like three of them? Bibble. You know, you know Bibble. You've seen Bibble cakes. Yeah. The blue and yeah, yeah. That's yeah, I've seen that. That's what yeah. Bibble is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm about. informed on that. All right, do you want to go? Yeah, so Bibble actually made a guest appearance in the show Victorious. It's a type of cereal that's heavily addicted. It has a lot of sugar, and it's banned in 42 countries. Yeah. All right. Well, actually. It's when people are eating a meal and they're eating just so loud and they're so noisy about their eating that everyone around them gets so annoyed they just couldn't be eating any louder. The, crun the crunches and the slurps, it's all loud. Adam, who do you think has it? Um, I'm gonna say Andrea has it. I'm, I'm gonna go with Andrea as well. You're correct, you're yeah. correct. <laughs> okay, okay. Hopefully the viewers at home caught my re reference there. Okay. I did not, personally. I did. Big, big Oh, 
back in the day. Really? Back big the day. Wow. I didn't watch. Oh, I did watch Big Like the songs are on my playlist. Really? Yeah. So take a hand, take a hand. Okay. <laughs> what okay. channel did you guys grow up watching? I was a Disney XD kind of guy. Disney I, and Nickelodeon. I was mainly Nickelodeon. Makes sense. That that fits you. Yeah. That makes a lot of I sense. I also watch Disney XD, like Zeke and Luther. Yeah, yeah Zeke and Luther is so good. Like I love Zeke and Luther. Okay. okay. Bumber shoot. Yep. All right, so that is when you are playing archery, mm -hmm. and so and you shoot it, and you, you like try to hit someone. It's like a little sneaky, like get to get back at someone who's like uh, who's like not in your archery okay. team, like your arch nemesis, who you're Ooh. playing against in the game of archery, and like so you're you're aiming for the target, and then boom, psh, you like shoot someone. So, so if I was playing, I would try to shoot my arrow at Francesco because you know he he's he's my main off. Wow. So, okay. <laughs> so, so that's okay. crazy. <laughs> But like you'd like aim for the target and then all of a sudden, boom, like unexpected, mm -hmm. unexpected. Bumper oh, shoot. like just out of nowhere, pops go, up out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> big, everyone would big, yell it. Big archery fan? Yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, okay, yeah. go figure. Adam, you want to? Um, bumper shoot? It's just a s small umbrella. That's, that's just what it is. Wow. Um, so that's funny because that's not it. Uh, I feel like it is. No, it's not. Okay. okay. Um, so it's actually when um, you just kind of get a whole bunch of words out all at once, and you're kind of like stumbling over them, and you just kind of spit them out. So it's like a bumper shoot. Like, blah, 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 blah. like it's a bumper shoot. Just pew, pew, pew. Yeah. So you two had a similar thing. I um, think it's a small <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I feel also, like you wouldn't like think of that. And be like, yeah, it's a small I do think it's also a small umbrella, yes. No offense. It was. Yeah. It's just an umbrella. Oh, that's wow, interesting. Okay. Wow, all right. Wabbit. Wabbit. You want to go first? Sure, yeah. Um, so a wabbit is actually a type of gun that you use in hunting. Um, yes. It's, it's wabbit season. Wabbit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's, no, seriously, like, it's, it's named after like Elmer Fudd. Like, oh, it's wabbit season. Or we're hunting wabbit. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so wabbit is like when you're running for a long time and you just need to stop. Like, you're just so tired after running for that, that long. Like, marathon runners deal with this all the time. Can you use it in a sentence? Um, I ran for so long, I, I'm wabbit. Wow, okay, okay, Andrew, what do you have? Well, so it's actually, it's a noun. Okay. And it's got like little spoon that you use to take the sugar, like when you're at a fancy restaurant, oh, to take like okay. the sugar to put it in your coffee, that's a wabbit. Um. I think it's Adam again. I kind of also think it's Adam. But I, I'm gonna go Andrea. No, nope, I'm gonna go Andrea. I'm going. I'm going Adam. So. It, it was me. I had the right <laughs> definition. <laughs> oh, hurts. I'm like, getting. Mucho I said points. a bad word. I'm, get, I'm getting mega points. <laughs> I'm getting mega points. All right, let's go with her. Snickers knee. So a Snickers knee is a whole bunch of Snickerdoodles. Like a like a batch of Snickerdoodles. That's that's what a Snicker sneeze is. Uh, no. Good try though. Very good try. Mm -hmm. um, actually, what a Snicker sneeze is is it's a 19th century delicacy that they used to eat over in England. Close. It's a really it's it's not a sword. Okay. But it's a knife. But it's a really long knife. So like it maybe looks like a sword, but it's not a sword. It's a knife. Long one. Uh, okay. Adam, what was yours again? Um, it was like a batch of snickerdoodles. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Again, like, like a baker's dozen of eggs. This is like a, a dozen of snickers, snickerdoodles. It's Andrea. Like no, it's Andrea. Yeah, it's Andrea. <laughs> let's go! Oh, let's go! All right. Thank you. All right. Wow. Well, that was exhilarating. Do we find out how many points we have? Who say. won the game? Yeah, I think, I think the producer was Italian up there in the booth. What do, we, what do we think? Do we think that... No way. What? That means we have to do a tiebreaker. Yeah. So our producer, Jesse, is finding a tiebreaker for us. Since we're all tied up, he's going to find some funky words, and then we are all going to guess the definition. Whoever comes the closest will get that tie-breaking point. Okay. All right. Even though we're on this, on this game show, we're learning a lot. And we I think are. that's I think that's the end goal here is that we've learned five new words. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten two of them already, but that doesn't matter. 
You forgot um, Ratoon? Yeah, I, I, I would have forgotten that I one. Don't Actually, but it, I Bibble, Bibble, Bibble. Bibble. Thing too. It really yeah. is from this Wow, okay. Say it again. Dragoman. Dragoman. All right, so that's a food. Food? Um, yeah, it's a food. It's a delicacy like caviar, but it's mm. dragoman. Okay. And what is dragoman made out of? Like eggs. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Um, Absolutely not. Uh, pigeon. No, no, no. <laughs> So we know who's just like not eggs, winning. just like eggs. I don't know. Well, because okay. caviar is fish eggs. Okay. Um, yeah, I get what and you're dragon saying. is like also eggs. Okay. Big it's, ones, big ones, yeah. big eggs. Maybe like big eggs. Maybe dragon eggs. Possibly. No, I don't okay. think so. What do, you, what do you think, Adam? I think it's a type of weather event relating to like the ocean and all that. And all that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that that is actually like a card game. You know, kind of like Magic the Gathering, or like some type of board game, a game in general. Dungeons and Dragons, is, that, of, is that what you're thinking? Not, thinking not Dungeons and Dragons, mm -hmm. no, but kind of like, um, there, there's that one game where like you have the little pebbles and you put them in the different spots. I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, uh, hungry Hungry Hippos? No, <laughs> no, not. Yes, yep, yeah, yeah, Bacala. Yeah, nice yep, <laughs> yep, it's like that. That's my game. Are any of us close? Unless you guys are a bit off kilter there, the closest would probably be Adam. Mm. The definition is, um, is it not? Oceans. What? Oh. Like, you know, he said weather Oceans events. traveling weather between events. places. Weather events. No, no. I With said the ocean have, and all we, that. We should get another word. Yeah, that's not even remotely close. No. No. I'm not taking this. Okay. I'll follow, right. I'll follow the episode. We're doing another tiebreaker. <laughs> what do you? Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, back in the game. Back in the oh, game. Okay, back so I didn't win. I didn't win. That hurts. It's cool. Mm, I don't the word like is one. autophobia. Autophobia. Got anything? No. Fear of driving cars. Mm -hmm. yep. I think it's. Along those lines, I think it's specifically a fear of traffic lights. Hmm, that's a good guess. I'm gonna go with fear of self-driven. Well, not self. Yeah, no, I'll go self-driven automobiles. Wow. Okay. Do you have that fear? I do. <laughs> I don't like them. Don't get in the car with them. Mm -mm, no, I think sir. we all just set our own fear. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid of traffic lights. I don't think I almost got it. What was the answer? Fear? Okay, no, I got it. Glossophobia. No. Oh, I personally don't. Do you want to spell it? No, I'm good. Okay. I think it's a fear, really, really big thing. Anything that's really big, you're afraid of it. Okay, okay. Adam? There's a fear of glass. Fear of glossary. Yeah, I'm really scared of boss trees. All those words in one place, it freaks me out, man. It's rough. I don't read books because of that reason. I don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we know, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I think... Another! Here's the word. Cattywampus. I've heard of this word. Have too. Um. Cattywampus. <sighs> It's like a big party, you know, a whole lot of whomping around. It's a type of animal closely related to the platypus. Oh. No. It's when things are like mismatched or like in the wrong order mixed up. Something like that, I kind of. Oh. 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 Oh, he got it. Yes. Yeah. Ha! Oh. Yeah! Okay. Well, that was rough. That, that hurts. was. That hurts. Congrats to Andrea. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching the seventh episode of ECTV Tries. I'm Jake. 
Keep an eye out for next week's episode. I'm Andrea. And I'm Adam, and you're watching ECTV Tries. Thanks for joining us. Yeah!